In this video, I want to show you how to edit a photo using the spot healing brush tool or just the healing brush tool, depending on what we're trying to remove. On this photo, I want to remove the old KSU logo from the background of the photo because we don't we're not using that logo anymore. And first I'm going to copy the background layer <clears throat> just in case I mess up too much. I have the background. Um, I can pull from again if I need to. So I'm going to drag this down to the create a copy icon at the bottom. And I'm going to hide it. So I'm going to turn off the eyeball. So the one that's locked is the original. That way I can, I can look back at the original and look at the new one and kind of go back and forth to see if, I, you know, if it still looks okay. So what I'm going to focus on here is just this mountain background. So I'm going to zoom in. And over here on the left side, you're going to see a little band-aid looking thing. <coughs> Excuse me. You have a spot healing brush tool, a healing brush tool, and a patch tool. These three things <clears throat> all do similar functions, but some are for bigger spaces and some are for smaller spaces. So the patch tool would say you have like a patch of grass that is dead and you want to copy another patch of grass and just move it over to cover a really big patch of grass. That's what, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what this tool would do. The healing brush tool and the spot healing brush tool are very similar um, in that they're for smaller areas where you designate a place that you want to copy and you essentially paste it into the new area. So I'm going to turn on the healing brush tool and you can see the size of my brush is very large. It's, you know, it covers this guy's entire head. So I'm going to right click and lower the size of my brush so I can cover this mountain more, uh, a little easier. <clears throat> And I'm also going to decrease the hardness because I want it to be a really soft brush. I don't want it to give like perfect circles when I when I paint. So <coughs> you have to option click to define a source point to be used. And what that means is you have to identify, <coughs> excuse me, you have to identify what area of the photo that you want to copy. So you're going to, by option click, that means hit the button called the the keyboard called option and then click so with the keyboard I mean with the um, mountain here I want to copy this part of the brick so I'm gonna option hit option and it turns into a bullseye and click that area and then I'm going to click along the mountains and you'll see that it's starting to copy you can see the little plus sign that appears it's starting to copy that plus sign area because that's where I told it I wanted it to copy. So as I move over here, I don't want to copy that same area because this part of the brick is darker than this part of the brick. So I'm going to option click again in this brick area to copy that darker side and then I'm going to again go along the mountains to cover them. And you want your your option, I mean your plus sign to kind of follow along with you. And if it doesn't, you can always hit option again and choose a new area that you want it to copy. So I want it to copy this area. Now I want it to copy this area, so I'm hitting option again, click. So it's going to identify literally anything that you click. So, you know, if I wanted to give someone a third eyeball, I could use this and copy one eyeball and put it in the middle, basically. So it's, it's whatever pixels that you identify in the photo. 
The difference between the this healing brush and the spot healing, I mean, yeah, and the spot healing brush is the spot healing brush will estimate what you're trying to copy. So you don't have to do the option click. It'll just kind of copy as you go. The only danger with this is that eventually it's going to start copying her hair over here or his face over here. So if I go too close to this area, it's going to pull his his skin color into the background and it's not copy it's no longer copying the background area because it's just assuming what you want to copy whereas the healing brush tool you tell it exactly what you want it to want it to copy. And you could you could spend quite a while on this. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit and, and shrink my brush even more and get this remaining gold out of the way. And again, I'm just clicking options sometimes and telling it again what I want it to copy as I move along. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out And I'm going to show you the original, and here's the new one. So that's just a quick and easy way on how to remove small things on a photo. You would use the same tool to remove blemishes on a face or fix, you know, you know, a part of someone's hair that's kind of weird or a stain on a shirt. It's the same tool.